Hi everyone, it's been a long long time since I've posted anything I um, had a lot of stuff to do during the summer um, really busy at work and obviously summer means summer holidays so um, I've been away for a few weeks um, and it just got so hot here uh, in the east of England I didn't feel like doing any radio work um, and then I thought I'd take a bit of a break from, from it um, and then the other reason is I didn't have any more radios to fix Anyway, I've got a, a GEC uh, all-wave uh, portable transistor set coming soon. So when that arrives, I'll make some videos on that. That's in, well, it looks to be in pretty good condition. Hopefully it stays that way going through the postal system. So tonight, uh, I thought I'd have a twiddle of my FRG7 um, and see what we can find. I've been specifically trying to find... Uh, UVB76 aka the buzzer this is a monotonous uh, one second on one second off uh, tone that's broadcast probably for military reasons out of Moscow and it's been going continuously pretty much since 1982 it's quite easy to find you can't really miss it but I just thought uh, I'd check the radio out and just um, how it works and you just hear it if I didn't say it broadcasts on the uh, 4.625 megacycles um, on upper sideband. There's also evidently uh, another signal transmitted at the same time on 6998 kilohertz. Um, let's just see if we can try and find that one. So this is the 4.625 megacycle signal. Let's go up to 6998. And if you watched um, Alan Wolke's Excellent videos on tuning the FRG7, you'll know exactly 6998. You'll know exactly how to tune one. There's some Morse there. UVB76, the buzzer. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon with some more repair videos.